Sparkle shiny blue. Hello, my wonderful friends. I just got done. That's a lie. I didn't just get done. I had breakfast and stuff, and I like watched it again. Whatever. <laughs> we just had the Pokemon presentation. Obviously, you're celebrating 25 years of Pokemon. Um, they'll probably have other presentations this year. I'm not really sure, but this was clearly a pretty, probably the big one. Uh, you know, revealed like the big games coming this year or whatever. So I'm here uh, to talk uh, to you about it. Here's my little discussion. First, the shocker. The shocker, the world, their mouths were agape at the reveal of Diamond and Pearl Remix. <laughs> it's, it was obvious, and uh, and they did it. And uh, so they did, so we got, uh, what is it, shiny, shiny nice diamond and delicious pearl, or something, I don't remember. Uh, I think at this point, people have probably come to understand that like when they come and they get co Pokemon content from me, it's, <laughs> it's, not, it's always gonna come with like a, you know, Pretty big, pretty big, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm critical. I'm critical of the stuff they do. So I hope that like, just you understand that, you know, now I'm gonna nitpick cause that's just what I do. And yet I insist on covering Pokemon still, even though I, I don't know, whatever. Here we are. Uh, so, okay. It looks nice. I, um, it's the same problem that I had with Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I don't want a like square for square exact remake. If feels like a wasted opportunity. I would love to see these adventures truly modernized, like make it in the style of Sword and Shield. I know it would take a lot of work um, because it was designed in the way that it is. You'd have to basically re, you know, redo the whole map of the towns and everything to make it work better for a, you know, a 3D game with a free camera. I just think that would be really cool. This just seems so Easy. It's basically just the same game again, except it looks a little bit nicer. It doesn't even look that much nicer. That's the weird thing is with this one, they uh, chose to, uh, instead of having the regular full-size models, now on the overworld, you get little like chibi representations, little remakes of the sprites, which that was my same problem with the Link's Awakening remake. It's like, why are you making a 3D version of a sprite that you are remaking a game? for modern audiences. Why don't you make it modern? You know what I mean? Like, I don't think it's just about capturing the nostalgia. I feel like it's re-making it, making it cool, making it modern. So that's disappointing to me. I was kind of hoping that they, it would at least look, at, you know, at least as good as Sword and Shield, maybe have, you know, wild area raid battles or something. Like, just kind of put that stuff in there. So it's like, that's where I'm, that's where I'm at. Kind of torn, it does look nice. It's pleasant to look at. It just seems like a wasted opportunity, especially if I'm gonna be spending 60 bucks on this game. I don't want it to look like this. <laughs> I don't know, it's just kind of boring. But it'll come out and everyone will love it and everything. Um, I feel like most people really like Diamond and Pearl. I just kind of didn't, it could just be the place that I was in my life, but I just, I didn't, nothing about it stuck with me. Didn't, I don't know, the story or something. It just wasn't very memorable. Um, I don't know, but I am kind of eager to give it another try because I, you know, it's one of the, one of the old ones and uh, a lot of people sing its praises. So yeah, we'll see. That was like 2007. So it was quite a quite a long time ago. Okay, so then like that didn't even end up being the big thing, which is nice. I was kind of hoping there'd be like some little surprise. Um, Pokemon Legends Arceus. That's, that's the big thing. This is a weird thing that I'm really eager to see more about it because there's a lot about it I don't get. Um, apparently this, the way he was mentioning it made it sound like this is a big full new game, but then like, are they gonna really like that early 2022, like that soon after Diamond and Pearl remakes? I mean, I guess Diamond and Pearl remakes aren't as substantial, but so this is kind of, it's like in between, you know what I mean? It's not the big next generation Pokemon games, but it is something new, it's something very different, and even just the fact that it's releasing in a different part of the year, like, are we also gonna get next gen for real next year? Or is Diamond and Pearl gonna get DLC or something? We don't really know, it's just a weird scheduling thing. Is Pokemon gonna be like two games a year now? That'd be great. Um, but anyway, it obviously, I mean, you know me, you know my tastes, you know what I wish Pokemon would do. Um, you know, I like the wild area. So this looks really interesting. This looks like uh, kind of the next step, kind of advancing, uh, you know, just the wild area and making it look better. I mean, I mean, look at this. You're, you're throwing Pokeballs uh, yourself at the Pokemans, uh, and in the fights, the Pokemon run over and actually hit each other. Whoa! <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. 
And like, obviously it looks very promising. This is a, looks like a very early look. I mean, we could still be a year away from release, so I'm sure there's a lot more that they're gonna show. Um, this little bit here, very basic, just kind of walking around a little area. It doesn't really give like the scope of the game. I, like, is it gonna be like, it's hard to look at this and imagine it as a full Pokemon adventure. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I guess I need to see more. So like at present, it looks cool, but it's also weird that it's its own thing. Like, and I know, again, you're here, you know what I say, th th think about Pokemon, so I'm just gonna go for it. Um, it's like, this looks more in line with what I wish Sword and Shield were in the same way that the DLC was kind of, it's like they're taking these teeny tiny little steps. Like this is kind of what I want them to have already done. And it's weird that instead of just integrating this into the next gen Pokemon, they're kind of bringing it back and making it about one specific region and kind of like, it almost feels like a stepping stone. It feels like they are inching their way <laughs> toward the big, the big Pokemon we've kind of been waiting for, you know what I mean? And uh, and it looks like they are making it easier to take this step by uh, limiting the scope. It's It takes place in Sinnoh, probably mostly Sinnoh Pokemon. And uh, if they do that, if they end up having a much smaller Pokedex, uh, then obviously like that's gonna be easier for them. It's gonna be easier for them to actually do, you know, new animations and make them all fight properly and everything. And, uh, and this could be, like just developmentally, like this could actually be like, yeah, like we're, we're gonna start making this the style and we're starting with Sinnoh, but then next time we'll add in a few more and you know, kind of like slowly work their way up into this being the style. And eventually we get a big old Pokemon that's all crazy, you know what I mean? And um, if that's true, it's definitely disappointing because as we've gone on endlessly about, they have so much money. They have so much money. They could have in one go, Easily just made Sword and Shield the biggest Pokemon ever. Just big, crazy, epic, perfect animations, everything. Like they could. These games sell like crazy. They're crazy, crazy rich. Look at what the rest of the game industry is doing and how advanced and complicated their games are. They could have. Um, so yeah, it's frustrating that they're wanting to take these weensy, teensy, tiny little steps, especially because once we finally do get something that resembles what we were imagining Pokemon on console would be, it's gonna be like, okay, well, it's been like four games. You know what I mean? Like, it's not gonna be that exciting anymore. I don't know, kind of getting deep into the whole development theory and stuff or anything. I should probably just <laughs> focus on this. Point is though, um, yeah, it looks promising. A uh, little like, I don't understand why they're just throwing Pokeballs and not fighting them first. I feel like that's, it's kind of like the, the let's go thing and, and the Pokemon go thing, I suppose you just like, throwing Pokeball, you know, instead of, I don't know, for me, like catching a Pokemon, especially if I'm going out in the wild and I'm walking around and sneaking around in the grass and stuff, I want to fight the Pokemon for, I don't want to just throw a Pokeball. I don't know, it looks really boring. <laughs> like the way they depicted it in the trailer looked pretty boring. Just like, oh, you throw a po you just catch them. And they're like, you can fight them if you want. I don't know. Obviously we do not know enough about it at all to make a judgment, but those are just kind of, kind of my thoughts, I love um, things that I love about it. I love the starters. I love the idea of p pulling starters from other generations just to kind of keep it interesting, you know? I like that, I like that a lot. And also, I should have opened with this, the best part about this, like it's, I mean, it's a big Nintendo thing I'm always talking about, like using old stuff, returning to old things. Like this is cool, this is basically a prequel to Diamond and Pearl. That's rad. That's so cool. Going back to the region before it was fully developed and having like a new story in an old place, like that's just cool. And, um, but it is also weird though. It's like, you're gonna remake Diamond and Pearl in the old style, but then you're gonna have a new style for a prequel. Why didn't you just combine the two or something? I don't know. I mean, like, I don't know. It sounds like this is like a big full game, but it's, it, you, I, you can't help, I'm such a, such a cynic. I can't help but look at this and look at Bowser's Fury and be like, was this a Bowser's Fury situation where you were developing a little bit of extra new content for the remake, but then you're like, yeah, but we could 
sell it for $60 instead <laughs> it's a separate thing I don't know obviously we don't know how big the adventure is like I said I don't know enough about it it's hard to believe that it's a big full complete Pokemon RPG adventure coming early next year in addition to the other games um but I don't know uh, we will have to wait and see. And ultimately, I suppose that is all I can say about it. It's uh, it's cool. It's a cool idea for a lot of reasons. I'm a little wary for a few reasons, and I just gotta wonder what it is, <laughs> what it is, and what it could mean uh, for Pokemon and its development moving forward. Uh, there were other things in the presentation that really I don't, I don't know. I didn't. I don't enough to talk about I suppose that little like retrospective thing took up like half the time this is Arlo from the future interjecting with a bit that was recorded later because I forgot about Pokemon Snap that was in here too I just wasn't thinking I was like oh the other stuff was little right no we got a new trailer for Pokemon Snap showing us a bunch of new stuff um it looks really cool I guess I don't actually have like that much to say about it uh I think the biggest thing yeah like I kept wondering like they're not gonna do pester balls again right <laughs> Because, like, in the original, you could throw an apple, which the Pokemon like, or you could throw a pester ball, which kind of just hurts them and makes them mad. And just like, hey, like, that's how wildlife photography works, right? You throw rocks at a thing to get it mad so it does something cool so you can take a picture of it. No. So, <clears throat> it seems that in this one, uh, you've got, like, Luma balls or whatever. You can, like, throw it at a Pokemon to make it all glowy and just kind of do stuff. And, like, that's cool. That's a much nicer, <laughs> nicer way to do it. Um, I wonder, like, if y'all, how many you'll have, if, like, every single Pokemon is gonna have a, like, a separate reaction, you know? Does that mean you're gonna have to get a picture of everyone twice or something? Maybe? You know, one regular, one <clears throat> all illuminated or whatever? Uh, who knows? But I thought that was really cool. Um, yeah, the biggest change is probably just the ability to, um, edit. Uh, as I, if you saw in my reaction thing, I... I, uh, I spent a lot of time as a kid uh, adding, the, like basically all you could do before was like add captions. And so I would just add like really dumb, <laughs> really like just dumb captions of like, oh look, the Charmander is bending over to eat an apple, but you can't see the apple. So it looks like he's throwing up. Ha ha ha, blah. <laughs> it's, 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 I was like 11, okay? I was like 11 or 12, I'm sorry. Um, but this, Clearly a lot better. Um, you know, they're taking a page out of, I don't know, whose book, who got it started. But basically, photo modes nowadays. Uh, you know, you can move the camera around and change the lighting and the filters and stuff. That's really cool. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to edit them. Like, I, I mean, it kind of looks like it. After the fact, you know, because it, it, in like Super Mario Odyssey or whatever, like you, you have to, in the moment, you pause and you can like take the picture or whatever. Um, so, but it kind of looks like you'll be able to later, after the fact, still go in and edit and turn the camera around or something. Um, if that's true, then that would be really, really cool. It would be very, very cool. Uh, so much more options and everything instead of just like, click, there it is, that's the end. Um, so I think there's a lot of potential there. And then obviously that ties into the social media thing. That's super cool. I mean, like, that's, it's just a very smart move. If you're going to bring back Pokemon for the modern age, you know, you got to have some sort of social element. People are sharing their cool Pokemon pictures all over the place. Um, so that's fun. That's very, very fun. Uh, because the game is, I mean, like, if the game is as, like, on rails as the previous one, that's going to dramatically limit the kinds of pictures you can find. You know what I mean? It's not like a game where you go around and you can interact with all these uh, different things and get a picture that's like truly unique. I don't know, like is everyone gonna be taking a picture of the Venusaur jumping in the water or whatever, you know what I mean? Because everything is kind of on a path and it's kind of pre-scripted. Um, I don't know, I'm probably looking too, for, too far into it. Um, but yeah, Point One Snap also looked very cool. I want it, I want it very badly. I want to play it very, very badly. <laughs> very much um i was kind of hoping we'd see more on the process of like how you move through the world is there any variation there you know are there any alternate paths or anything um but i don't know that could just be the sort of thing it's it's basically the same as before and you gotta just kind of play it to see but anyway that's that back to you present well no you're past arlo now because i'm the present arlo back to you past arlo but the viewer he was the present arlo whatever i'm sorry let me know, you listening, watching, let me know what you think uh, down in the comments, uh, please. Are you stoked? Do you like the art style for for Stinky Diamond and Peanut Butter Jelly Pearl? Let me know. Does Arceus look super cool? Is this the future of Pokemon? Let me know. Uh, also, have a wonderful day and goodbye.